Hello, everybody. From the Akistats Arena at Caesars Southern Indiana, welcome back to the 2023 Derby City Classic and the 24th edition of the All Around Pocket Billiards Championship. Thank you. Thank you. Without question, it's Pool's most exciting and prestigious event, and it's proudly sponsored by Diamond Billiard Products, Simonis Cloth, and Aramith Pool Balls. We'd also like to express our gratitude to our associate sponsors from Outsville and Master Chalk, and recognize our great tournament direction team from Bad Boys Billiards Productions. Uh, well over 10 years here at the so Caesar Southern Indiana. We thank them again for being great partners along the way. And our thanks, of course, to our great extended DCC family here and around the world who have been with us for many, many years. We're going to jump into the nine ball division here for one match, and then we're going to pick up with one pocket a little bit after this one. So without further delay, let's get to it. 526 players in the nine ball division. This is still round number two, so we're kind of early on. Let's get underway with player intros. Originally from Finland, residing in New York City. This gentleman is a four-time major champion. He's also a Derby City nine ball champion. And in 2014, his long career was recognized with his induction into the BCA Hall of Fame. He's sponsored by Mez Q's, Taum, and Shadow Tight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Iceman, Mika Imanen. His opponents from West Jefferson, Ohio. He is a former Derby City all-around champion. Sponsored by Red Fin Cues and the Action Palace. Let's hear it for D. Adkins. Good luck, gentlemen. Race to nine. I'm gonna send it upstairs to the com box, to Double J and his partner, whoever's up there. Well, thanks, Kenny. And what a match we have here with D. Atkins and Meek Eminen. Two guys that have, uh, have made a lot of noise here at the Derby City Classic and it looks like Mika's won the lag. You would say Mika a little favorite in this match. I wouldn't say a huge favorite between uh, Mika and D. Atkins. D from Ohio. Mika from Finland originally been residing in New York for many years. Now there is the nine on the spot, but you can break from anywhere. So you'll see a lot of side rail breaks. Maybe the guy's spinning the balls. Yeah, they're discussing the break box. That's what I was thinking, that there was a break box. It's been all banks in one pocket so far on this table. First nine ball match. Yeah, D a little elevated over the eight. The two near the three, so doesn't mind a little distance on the two ball, but as long as he's pretty heavy on it, and that's the case here. Four goes on the side. Five's a little covered up, but the four is near. So he may draw this. He may go forward off the two. He should go look where he wants for the four. This is an important shot. I think the five does play, so he doesn't really have to have some type of breakout angle from the four to the five. 
We'll see what he thinks because he's at the table, of course. Might go two rails forward here with a little top right. Not a whole lot. <clears throat> that tells me he doesn't need a whole lot of angle. Definitely doesn't need to break the balls out. A little position from the five to the six. A little funny. Especially he's gotten a little on the wrong end, so he may have to stretch to get to the five. The six doesn't pass the nine. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's opening the balls here. No, he missed the five, the four. He's going to love where the cue ball's at and probably did most of what he wanted as far as manipulating the five ball. But he's missed the four and snookered Mika. He's looking at a two rail escape. Probably the smartest shot, really. Oh, really nice. He's going to hate this if he scratches, but otherwise he's going to love it. Not sure how much of this four he has. It's questionable on trying to make it. He could roll it to the back side of the five and seven. Just kind of go through it. He wants to shoot, of course, but not sure that's really available. Yeah, this is the shot I was thinking. Just kind of lag this behind the five and seven. What a beautiful play that was. Very good speed. Got the premium out of that. That being D. Atkins from Ohio. I think Mika was sizing up a three rail escape right before the side pocket, then three rails in between the six eight at the four ball. I think that's what he was looking at here. I like his decision here. Really nice hit there from Mika now a tough decision for D. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is kind of in between. He can't bank it, or maybe he can, but it's very difficult. Four cuts on the side, but only offers position underneath the five, really. Could cut the four quite a bit and play safe behind the seven and the five. He's going to cross corner and he made it. Shot there, putting him behind the eight. You can see an, a very effective snooker. We'll see how Meekin wants to go at this. Probably two rails, right by the corner there. Nice hit there. Yeah. Barely caught the five before the seven, but definitely a clean hit. I don't know if he can shoot at this. I mean, of course, he obviously can, but D a very um, smart and heady player. Don't think he really shoots at this. 
Just kind of comes across the five using the six, eight, nine again. Uh, this one's going to leave him a little bit more of a look. Maybe not. Maybe not. I got him. Really good speed. So even if he has a left side of the five ball, he still may kick it this ball two rails. We'll see. I wonder why he slow rolled that so much. Maybe an accident sometimes that happens, but not the type of shot you're going to slow roll very often. Now, I don't know if the six passes the eight. He's got a heavy angle here on the five. He's close to it, so he should be able to draw out of it. But I don't know, like I said, the six passes the eight or not. go with the high ball so maybe he goes back into the eight or nine uh, a little thick and unscratched he could just gonna keep it simple one rail right at the six ball in between the eight and nine and yeah, like that straight here so he's gonna have to work the rock a little bit two rails out looks like I got a lot of speed on that so probably end up a little more with the cue ball than he wanted and a little off angle here on the eight if he's playing this on the side May go four rails here underneath the nine, then back for that nine in the same side, like here. It's only going to go three rails, but still pretty similar. And a pretty nice hit there on the eight. And now to get our first lead of the match, Mika Eminen up 1-0. D. Atkins, West Jefferson, Ohio. Does a lot for pool in his area. Works with the juniors. Of course, himself a competitor. Green. Yes, it is. So, a very good chance for Mika Eminem to get started here in game number two. I don't know if he can just float this in. Of course, Mika, who has always had a really good touch, if he can float this in and just use one rail with the cue ball, maybe use the eight even to slow the cue ball down a little bit. I think that would be better than two rails. Oh, yeah, he definitely could. in a very good position to extend his lead here early to 2-0. Even though it is only the two ball, you can see the three over the side, the four, five, and six together. So not a lot of work until the eight, nine. I don't think he'll move it much, just straight draw stroke here. Not sure what he's too worried about. I mean, he could overdraw a little bit. Yeah, he's perfect here to come across. Uh, he's 
got a little straight here, so I may have to draw the cue ball. I didn't cheat the pocket as much as he could have, or probably as much as he wanted. A little thinner here on the six. Shouldn't slow him down too, too much, but the cue ball's some concern. The nine's a little funny, too, where it's at. He's going to hit this a little thick. Nice shot there, and good speed on the cue ball. Looks pretty good. And now our first breaking run of the match. It looks like for Mika Eminent to go up 2-0. Nice little applause there after the breaking run. It's race nine here at the Derby in the nine ball division. that break off one ball down corner ball down really good shape here on the two on the side it looks like three and four very handy little work there on the five six but you gotta figure he's gonna create something You don't figure Mika to break out any the five six or open them up anymore from the three. Certainly not the two ball. So it's going to be some kind of short position from the four to the five six. Maybe position to play a safety. And the five's pretty cuttable also, so it doesn't really need any special position. Just a little towards the center of the table. He can cut the five with the six near. Oh, he's drawing the cue ball. Trying to get underneath the five. Wow, what a shot. Make it a little funny. Played real well so far. That was center of the pocket there for the five. And now to extend the lead, a six, seven, nine, and for two breaking runs. Oof. Kind of squeezed that one home a little bit. Didn't hit the pocket too perfectly, but good stroke. Zero, make it imminent.
Looks like a dry break, and now we'll see D back at the table. I'm not sure if he can get at this one or not. It's close. Hard to roll out, though. He may kick behind us if he can't get at it. Good shot. Smart shot. May have left a little piece of the one, but still a good shot. And he's going to curve at this ball. Pretty good effort. Yeah, he's got a shot on the side, but the cue ball is running away from the two ball. Still may have to shoot it, go into the nine, maybe take a long shot on the two to get started. He's down 3-0. I get a little fortunate here with this miss. Or at least what looks like a little fortunate. The five is hanging across the corner, so you never know with Mika kicking at the ball. Two rails underneath, catching it kind of thick. He might slide over to make the five. Can you see this? Oh, I caught it full. All right, you, D probably uses the three here to slow the cue ball down. I'm not sure. Wants the five to hang. Shot. Well, hit it a little thick to the pocket, but it went. He was a little on top of the three, but not too terrible. I'm sure if he comes back with the cue ball here. He's got a little space to come back and forth between the six eight. So we'll see. Probably plays that. Yeah, nice shot there. much as he wanted there so he's gonna have a oh he missed a six excuse me ladies and gentlemen he's watching the cue ball just assuming the six was down and now Mika Eminem back to the table and big miss there from D
Now 4 0 for Mika Eminent. Scratch on the break, so D. Atkins get a, a chance to get back at the table, put a few more balls down, try and get on the scoreboard, of course. Got there. See our TPA is now 964 for Mika. That's some clip there. Get another look at that here shortly. Yeah, I was wondering, I thought it was close to be honest with you, him looking at the two. Not sure how much it really affected the shot, but it was tight getting by the six. Shot there. It's a hard to play that one rail, I think, anyways, position underneath to the three in the side. It's just kind of like a funny zone. Seems smaller to me than it probably really is, but Mika played a real nice shot there and now gonna get position on the four. A little speed control here. I like drawing this myself. Follows okay. Doesn't really matter. Just I get a little better feel when, when crunch time's important. He's going to follow it. It looks like he's going to end up pretty perfect. Even better than perfect. <clears throat> and Mika knows how great a player D is, so there will be no let up here. every ball here in this match that he gets a chance to shoot at that being Mika Eminent. So far it's been pretty awesome play. Ooh, okay. Kind of stared at it twice, made me do the same. Zero lead. Showman. 
back in the balls here in game number six. I think he can get at the one here. I think anyways. It's tight. Maybe the eight has him cut off a little bit. If it does, it's a little bit kind of like a double kiss here. Maybe he can get by the one with a little high ball. Yeah. Nice shot. He's going to leave a two row escape here, but still a nice shot there from D. That's going to surrender ball in hand to Diagons. I think, anyways, I didn't see anything get a rail. Maybe the one got a rail. I didn't realize it. Uh, he's going to be upset there with the thicker hit on the one. He was trying to cut it onto the two, I believe. Gonna give up a lot more of a shot than he wanted. Just got to work the rock a little bit from the four to the five. The six is near the pocket, though, so coming back down off that five ball shouldn't be too tough. Played pretty perfect so far. Yeah, really good there. So one real position play there from the five to the six. Perfect speed control from Mika. He may end up a little heavier here on the eight than he really wants, but He's going to have to, oh yeah, he got perfect actually. He got underneath it a little bit. The natural angle to come back for the nine. And now a pretty routine nine for a six nothing lead.
Well, he's pretty heavily snookered here on the two. I think he might have the top side of it for a rail first shot. Got the one down. Mm, gonna have to come across and probably play underneath the three with the rail first shot. You ball have a little speed on it. Oh, that was hit thin. He got above the three from there. That's how thin the two was. And not sure that was planned, but it's hard to determine what's going to happen with some of those rail first shots. Three four is a pretty easy combo for Miki. He doesn't have to squeeze this by if it's ever so tight. And he did. Great shot. Good stroke. Uh, tip position came up a little bit. Six has two pockets, though, so has a little bit of choices if he wants to shoot at this five. shot there. He's going to get away from the seven, I think, just enough. Really good speed control there with the cue ball and really probably just a six ball away from extend that lead to 7-0. 980 is his TPA. Wow, what a clip. Kenny had talked about a guy who's won this nine ball before. Pretty much won, has won everything in the the game and sport of nine ball. Two time US Open champion. World nine ball champion. Player of the decades. Or the decade, excuse me, in the 2000s. Multiple European Moscone Cup teammate. Uh, that one's a little hot, but should be okay. Kept his eye on it there for a little piece, but he got no let let up here. And now seven zero. At 455, you see by D's name, is just a lack of opportunity. And when he did, it was just made a couple little mistakes. And it's been all Mika imminent otherwise. Got the five down. Didn't get the one like he thought he may. So probably edge this one ball right here and run up the side rail with the cue ball. He could move the one a little bit more holding the cue ball, but most of the guys would edge this with the A3 the way they are. Sitting pretty nice. Surveying and of course he's not going to give in to D. Atkins. D. One tough competitor. Oh, he caught the eight, so. He's got to hit the window here on the one, get to the two.
It should come up for the four on the side off the three ball. Killed it two rails, so maybe the scratch was in there. Nice shot there. straight there so he's got to make a little more of a shot here on the seven than he probably anticipated. Is he cutting this the other way? I don't think so but oh he did cut it the other way. Wow what a shot. from nowhere this miss on the eight ball. I don't know if he can really stiff this or not. May have to edge this and go behind the nine. Yeah, great speed there. Easy to catch the point here, kicking at this one. like perfect speed to get on the nine as well and for a, not an impossible comeback but one that is uh, right at the edge of impossible and an eight nothing lead here for Mika Eminent this routine nine ball so it hadn't been what D Atkins has wanted just been a lot of Mika Eminent and uh, that happens sometimes especially when the Iceman's involved He's made one on the break. He got a little kiss on the cue ball. Another kiss on the cue ball. Didn't free it up, but came close. A little bit of rollout here.
pretty good shot there. We'll see what uh, Mika has in mind coming back at the one ball. Looks like he can hit rail first before the side maybe and get at that one. Left to rail first for sure on the one. We'll see what happens with the two ball. Four is not terrible to break out the five seven later in the rack. Whoever gets that first shot. <clears throat> A tough one on the rail first. Not to make it, but to gain position with the six that are coming around the six. Or at least what you figure is around the six or near it. Oh, he did get around it, and he got underneath the two. Is he going to slow down enough? It is. Great shot. Or he got some of the 5-7 here. A little the wrong side. He gambled there on the on the two getting to the four. Wow. Good hit. Great hit. Just gonna end up on top of the yeah. On top of the cue ball, we'll see if he just bunts it away over the nine. Or he tries to attack some kind of way, that being D. Atkins. I know he wants to shoot down eight to zero. effort there. Pretty natural. Yeah, I think you're going to see Mika attack here on this four ball to try and end this match. If he gets this one down with position, big favor to clear this table and have a huge, uh, nice win, nice performance, at least in the second round of the nine ball. Got to go a little bit with the cue ball. Kind of bump open just enough with the six not too far away. I think he shoots here. Might be funny. Maybe he can't. And yeah, nice shot. 
don't know what he can do here. He can cut it in for sure, but does he run into the seven? How does he play position? He can float it, I guess. Get above the side with a little right English. Oh, missed ball. I hadn't seen one of those from Mika. Just hasn't had the match that we're used to seeing from him. Now missed eight ball and a, not an easy shot for Mika, but one you figure he's a pretty big favorite and has a chance to now close the match and get on to the third round of the nine ball. Former champion here at the nine ball. Wow, well, hit the heart there, and Diakin's going to concede this last nine. A great match there for Mika. Never anything really getting going for. For D. Atkins, more from the Derby City Classic soon. Some one pocket coming along. Stay tuned. <laughs> 